Hello everyone and welcome back to another Python quick tips. In today's video, we're going to be going over the enumerate keyword slash function and what that does in terms of its use in a for loop. Now, what I want to do is just uh, introduce a problem here that enumerate can solve for us. So essentially, let's say we have a list here like apples, pears, oranges, fruits. We want to loop through the list and we want to get the elements in our list as well as the index of those elements. Very common problem. You need to do this for tons of different exercises. And I'm sure you guys have created a solution like I'm about to introduce here. So one way that we might do this without the use of enumerate is four elements in my list, which means we're going to loop through apples, pears, oranges, fruits, all of the elements, but not the indexes. We'll print that element out and then maybe we're going to also check for a certain index to occur. So we say if it's index one, which essentially means whatever the second element is, let's print the count is one. That's just something I want to do. And then we have this other variable outside of our for loop that's defined and we count and keep track of what index we're on by doing that. So essentially this count is outside. It keeps track of what number we are on in the list. And then we can look at that and do something accordingly. Since we already have the element, we can just print that out by doing element. Um, but this is really not like the best way to do this. Now, another way that we could do this is like this. We can say for X in range, the length of my list. So rather than looping through the elements, we'll loop through the indexes in our list. And then we say print my list X, which is going to be the element because we're accessing the element at index X. Then we say if, if X equals equals one, which means you know, we're at the second element or the first index of our list, we'll print X is one. Now these are fine. These work, but I'm going to show you a more elegant solution up here. Um, that's much better. So what you can actually do is use an enumerate keyword, which allows you to loop through not only the index, but the element as well. So we can say for X, element in enumerate and then we put my underscore list like this and then I'll just show you what we can actually do here we can print x element and I'll show you what this looks like so I'm going to erase these so that we don't see these and let's run this and what we get is zero apples one pears two oranges three fruits essentially x lines up with the index of the element and we are able to access both x which is going to be our index and the element by simply doing this um, x comma element really nice super simple and this is what enumerate does i use it like hundreds of times a day when i'm writing code and definitely does save you a bit of time and just make your code look a little bit cleaner now if we wanted to duplicate the other example that we had what we could do is just print element then we can say if x equals equals one print x uh, is one like that and i believe i had a capital x here so we'll do that okay so if we run that we get the same thing apples pears x is one oranges fruits and there we go that is how enumerate works hopefully this helped you guys out a bit if you have any questions feel free to leave them down below and as always let me know if you want to see any other things in this python quick tips series